So the other day I'm on eBay, I'm looking for a Doctor Who t-shirt and I find one that I really like. It's a red t-shirt with a Doctor Who logo in the middle. And what turns up in the post? A blue shirt with a Superman logo. I mean, how effing stupid can you be, eBay seller? But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here because Mattel Creations is trying to rip you off. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Following on from my recent video about the Mattel Creations exclusive Grizzlor, well, Mattel Creations have now announced an exclusive 40 years of He-Man 4-pack. Four He-Man four he figures for the whopping ridiculous price of 150 bucks. Let's see what we get in the pack. This Masters of the Universe 40th Anniversary He-Man 4-pack includes uh, Motu Origins versions of an 80s Filmation version of He-Man, the 90s New Adventures He-Man, the early 2000X Defender, and that dumb Kevin Smith one. But Mattel thinks that you are a royal boo because they're trying to charge you double for these figures. Most Motu Origins figures sell at retail for around 15 bucks, but even if we go for the exclusives, Grizzlor, for example, was $18 per figure. At 150 bucks for this four pack, that slices down, and I'm not great at math, but I did put it into my calculator before, $37.50 per figure. That is more than double what Grizzlor was for a single figure. Now, granted, these figures do come with some vac metalized accessories, swords, shields, things like that. But that vac metalizing does not constitute a like 200% price increase for these figures. So upon closer inspection, let's have, have a look at everything we get here. This does come in a really nice display box, which is made to look a bit like an, Etern an old Eternian TV of some sorts, with an AT style uh, programming visuals inside. You get a poster, you get some never before seen art. But are you really comfortable with paying like an extra $75 for some paper and some cardboard? Really? What Mattel Creations should be focusing on now is get, still getting out some of those core characters that they are yet to release. Uh, I know King Randall's on the way, but they haven't announced Mechanic yet. There's a lot of these core characters. While they're off doing Blundar and Sun Man and all these characters who weren't even part of Masters of the Universe back in the day on what they're you know, advertising as a retro line, now here they are giving us four versions of He-Man, even though we've had tons of versions of He-Man already. Four versions of He-Man, but they're trying to sell it to you for double the price. $37.50 is not good value for money for a, a Mattel Creations Masters of the Universe origin figure. I'm sorry, it's just not. I'm sure there's a good proportion of the collecting community out there who are not interested in three of the four figures in this set, because a lot of the collectors out there are only interested in the original kind of 80s version of Masters of the Universe. They're not interested in all that new adventures stuff and any of that, you know, massive mistake that Kevin Smith made. So you may be sucked in by the fact that this, uh, the original He-Man in this set, it's basically the same figure we've got before, but now with a filmation accurate head and a vac metalized sword. And that could be very, very enticing. But what scares me is that there'll be a lot of collectors out there who will ignore this 200% price increase and will stump up for it. And if they do, and if this sells out, it's bad news for you collectors. If this sells out, if this exclusive four pack sells out to, is it tomorrow or the day after, whenever it's going up, if this sells out, this is bad news for collectors, I believe, who want the Eternia playset that was um, announced at San Diego Comic-Con if this four pack of figures is 150 bucks and it sells out, Mattel knows that they can charge 800 plus for that Eternia and you're gonna buy it. I'm sure there are a lot of people in the camp who kind of agree with me that this is a really disgusting price increase from Mattel for these four figures. And I'm sure there are a large proportion of you who wanna throw up gifts of throwing your money around like the Wolf of Wall Street and don't care because you've got too much money to burn. Well. That's also very, very selfish because if you've got more money than sense and you don't care and you're more than happy to dump 150 bucks on this, you're screwing over your fellow collectors. You really are because you're sending... The only way we as a consumer can really send a message to any of these companies, be it Hasbro, Mattel, whoever, right, is to vote with our dollar. 
And if there are too many of you out there with more money than sense, who just go, I don't care, I want it, I'll pay whatever they charge, that's just gonna encourage these corporations to continue increasing their prices. I also can't get past the fact that they've put the new Adventures version of He-Man on that standard Origins body. The standard Moto Origins body is a more articulated version of the original kind of He-Man body type that we got back in the 80s. And it is a great improvement on the 80s original, like all that extra articulation, you know, provides a lot of playability. But the new Adventures He-Man was a completely different body type. He wasn't as overly muscular as the original. So not only is Mattel Creations charging you more than double the price for these four figures, but they're not even investing a lot of new tooling, all right? We've got some new heads, but they're just whacking the new Adventures He-Man, who had a much more athletic build, and making him look like a condom full of walnuts by using that original Motu Origins body. It's ridiculous. There's also the very distinct possibility that Mattel Creations feel that perhaps this line is, you know, on its last legs and they're trying to squeeze the last bit of juice out of that lemon. You never know. I hope not for the sake of the collector, but I also, for the sake of the collecting community, really hope that people don't just throw caution to the wind and lay out 150 bucks for this massively overpriced item because you're gonna do more damage to the future of collecting this line than what you will by passing on it. Don't let Mattel treat you like a royal boob. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out some of our other Masters of the Universe content by clicking the links over here, or you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down there. Or don't, don't, don't even bother. I don't really care anymore. It's all good. Peace out.